What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. So, in today's video, I am going to give you 10 tips on learning basically any kind of coding languages. Tip number one code every day. Coding, it's like learning another language. You have to practice and practice and practice. And so, make sure that you get to code every day. Tip number two write it out. I am not a huge fan of taking notes everywhere, but it is important for your brain to process to write things down. Tip number three is go interactive. It's so important to play around with the actual language in the command line to make sure that you feel better about learning it. One of the quickest way that for me to feel interactive is actually going to either free CoCam or CoAcademy. Tip number four is to take breaks. Go for some walks, talk about other things other than coding. It really helps your brain to digest, especially get plenty of sleep. Tip number five, become a bug bounty hunter. Make sure that you are very suspicious about bugs, so have that curiosity in your head really helps you to figure things out. It actually helps you to learn more, understand more, and become better at coding. Tip number six, Surround yourself with people who are also crazy about coding, who are also learning. Because you are learning, that gives you more opportunities to help you to explain concepts with someone else, which is basically what I'm doing right here. And it helps you so much to really understand that information. Pair programming is so important. Not only you need to understand the concepts with someone, but also being able to communicate technically to someone else. I remember that in the past, I wasn't familiar with CSS and I'll pair programming hours with someone who's expertise in CSS. And that helps me so much on fast forwarding learning that skills so much quicker. So pair programming, very important. Tip number eight is ask good questions. Always have a curiosity in your mind and not afraid to ask questions. And a lot of times I think that the differences between someone who is a developer versus someone who are just a technologist is that developer really knows what is the good and right question to ask. So it's really important to know what is the right questions to ask. Hence, you're gonna Google faster about that question. Like literally, how do you use tip number Oh, nine, you need to build something, anything. Does not matter how fancy your app is, it can be a really simple application, but you need to be building things. Um, as a developer, we're constantly building things, we're constantly learning new stuff. It's a great mentality to have because you are learning so much while you're building things. Tip number 10, last but not least, you need to be contributing to open source. You need to be not only better at building things from scratch, but also understanding how to read other people's code, how to collaborate collaborate in a gig version control environment, how to pair program with other coders in the community. So it's super important that you need to start contributing on open source projects. So make sure that you are doing that. And as you do that, you're gonna feel more comfortable reading other people's code, especially feeling comfortable working on production code. So here are the 10 tips that I have for you to help you to learn any languages you wanted to learn. So that is the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up, share it the video with someone else and I am Vicky over here. I share daily tech videos on Instagram. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. I hope this video is helpful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!